Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. I hope you had a great weekend. And, of course, uh, your Monday is going well as well. Uh, of course, we do have some rain, which is working through parts of uh, the four-state area, picking up some snow. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. we got three big storm systems moving through over the next week. So we're going to break these all down for you. Of course, this is a Weather 2020 video. Uh, if you want long-range forecast, you can go and sign up at weather2020.com, uh, or at least I can point you in the right direction. Of course, huge shout-out, my boys, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor. They're family-owned, located Joplin, Missouri, 7th and High Street, right off 7th Street. Uh, if you have roofing needs, make sure you give them a call. They're good guys. And they'll get you all fixed up. All right, so let's jump into this storm system. This is a big guy. Uh, now, what's happened here is it has... Let me see if I can get this picture. All right, so what this has done is it has shifted a little bit farther toward the north than what it looked like it was going to do over the past couple of days. And that's actually my mistake because using the LRC, the pattern that we use at weather 2020 and of course that gary and i have worked on for 25 years should have known it was going to track a little farther toward the north because that's what it did last time it was in here this is a system that we got to see of course we had the system on friday and then this was a system that we saw uh you know right right back right around thanksgiving or so uh and we're in a very active stretch but what i want to show you here is here's the comma head so uh, it, we call it a comma head because it looks like a comma. You can see it's like, whoop. Um, you can see the snow developing on the backside. This is all the moisture riding north, all the rain. We got showers. We got thunderstorms. And then where you see the blue, that's where it's been changing with or mixing with some snow and some very heavy snows as well. But here's the dry slot. So this is the dry air punching in. And you can see this just racing north right here. So... Anybody who lives in this area is going to get dry slotted as we go late through uh, into today, well, at this afternoon and tonight. So it's going to be the northern side that really picks up the snow. All right, let's take a tour. We got moderate, even some heavy rain. Central, eastern Oklahoma, east of Oklahoma City, Fort Smith, northwest Arkansas. Now in the higher elevations of the Ozark Mountains, we are getting some snow once you look across northern parts of Arkansas and then also very similar once you get into the Ozark Mountains uh, down through Berry County a little bit of snow mixing in just east of Springfield we've had a little bit of snow mixing in uh, from Chanute, Iola, Humboldt but most of that snow is now starting to overtake moderate to heavy snow big flakes uh, from Ottawa to Harrisonville the south side of the Kansas City Metro very soon St. Joe will go over all to snow. So you can see moderate to heavy snow where you see the dark blues, Emporia, Topeka, Lawrence, all the way up into Nebraska. And then you get on the back side, and this is the comma head that uh, we're going to watch and we'll give other people snow as we get into the next day. So let's go through time. Joplin, Springfield, Tulsa, Fort Smith, all a cold rain all day long. So periods of rain. Look how Kansas City is all snow. So this is this afternoon. Snow in St. Louis, Columbia, Topeka, Salina, Wichita. You're getting dry slotted at this time. So this big snow line staying just north of you. Dodge City, 32 degrees and snow. Let's continue through the evening hours. Look at this dry punch of air. Look at it. The dry slot gets all the way up into southern parts of Iowa. We got showers. We got thunderstorms in Illinois. And then that rain snow line uh, very close to Champaign, Illinois, and then this is all moderate to heavy snow on the back side. So Kansas City, you kind of rotate with that dry slot and uh, stay in the snow. The south side of the metro is going to see less snow than the north side and up towards St. Joe as well. Wichita is getting a little bit of snow, still some showers, Joplin, and also Springfield. All right, let's go into the early morning hours. So now the back side of this system producing lighter snow, but uh, accumulating snow from Iowa, north central Missouri, eastern Kansas, now moving into bands of light snow working southeastern Kansas, northeastern parts of Oklahoma, and then back through southwest Missouri. So as we continue through the morning, 
we have this back band of snow. So here's 8.30 in the morning. Uh, St. Joe, Chillicothe, Kansas City, Joplin, Springfield. And we'll even get some light snow all the way down into northwestern Arkansas. And then once we get into the afternoon, you can see this band of light snow pushes central and eastern Missouri. Look at the sunshine. Comes out. Kansas and Oklahoma. Then we look pretty good. It's going to be colder, but not terrible. Now, as we're going to Wednesday, we get back into the 40s and everybody that has snow is going to be in that massive melt as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. All right, snowfall amounts. This is a big system. So 8 to 12 inches of snow. Uh, northeastern parts of Kansas, Concordia, all the way up St. Joe, Kurtzville, up to the Quad Cities, all 8 to 12 inches of snow. Now, when you get into the metro of Kansas City, I think most of the metro is going to be kind of in that five to eight but the south side of the city you're going to be probably closer to that three or four inch realm and then there's a sharp cutoff two to five just south of kansas city into the north side of st louis wichita that two to five marks just north of you you can see dodge city you're sitting in that five to eight inch mark now on the back side when we get this band of light snow late tonight into tomorrow morning from the comma head, we are going to see light snow spreading through southeastern Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, even northwest Arkansas, southwest Missouri, including uh, anywhere from Chanute, Pittsburgh, Joplin, um, down toward Bentonville, Springfield. Uh, with that comma head, we'll have to see how much moisture we get with it, but it could be anywhere from a dusting up to two inches of snow in some places. So if you are still located in the white, we are going to have some light accumulations which includes my area the joplin area light accumulations as we go through the morning hours for us tomorrow so some of the roads could be a little bit slick so make sure you watch out for that all right so i told you there's three big systems in the next week we've just covered system number one let's go continue let's go to system number two so we're looking at wednesday and this this one gets real interesting because we get our first arctic blast of the year that means it's going to get really cold. All right, so let's go into Thursday night. Look at this. Another system kind of similar to what we are seeing today. Rain again. Tulsa, Joplin, Fayetteville, Texarkana, Little Rock, uh, West Plains, and then that rain snow line very close to the Kansas City metro area. Now, as we get into Friday morning, this is an Arctic blast. Big time blast. Look at Goodland. 1-8 Dodge City. 15 in Wichita. 15 in Topeka. So then on the back side, we get a band of moderate to heavy snow. Topeka, Kansas City, Joplin, Tulsa, Northwest Arkansas. In this band, it's very likely we're going to have a two to four inch snow uh, for a good chunk of the region. Now, again, this is four days away, so uh, we need to see how it tracks because it, it will shift a little bit. But what this will guarantee, it will do, it's going to pull in cold Arctic air and we are going to get a band of snow. So as we continue, here's Friday evening. Look at the band of snow. Kansas City, St. Louis, West Plains, Jeff City, Lake of the Ozarks, all getting bands of light snow. As we go into the weekend, now this gets interesting because, of course, the Chiefs play Sat. I think it's Saturday night. I'll have to double check that. I want you to notice the temperatures. This is 3.30 in the afternoon. Nine in Topeka, nine in Kansas City, two in Omaha. So if you're heading to the playoff Chiefs game, oh my, you definitely want to bundle up. Look at this Arctic air in place as we go into Sunday. Then here we go again. Now, look at this system. This isn't going to have much rain because we have the Arctic air in place. So this system is going to be all snow. And this is next Sunday into Monday. It can dump. Because the snow ratio, it's going to be very powdery, dry snow. It's going to, it could dump a lot of snow. So that's something we really want to watch as this system rolls in Sunday into Monday. Again, this is six, seven days away. This is system number three, but it is going to have the potential to drop several inches of snow. Um, and look at the bands of snow. So we go into Sunday night into Monday. I want you to notice the temperatures. Minus four Topeka, minus three Kansas City, minus four in Joplin. So that Arctic air is in place. And that's something that uh, it, it, we're getting into a pretty good stretch here over the next week. Excites me. I wish uh, 
my area was going to get more snow with the system uh, today, tomorrow. It's mainly going to be rain, but we are going to get a little bit of snow. But I'm excited to see how these set up over the next week. All right, guys, any questions, comments, leave it in the comment section below. We'll talk again tomorrow.